Well, let's take another look at your weather forecast. I want to share a video, uh, video, I should say, coming up on our Facebook page. Chris Williams with his drone flying over Great Salt Lake. Beautiful photos and videos here as we look near the Great Salt Lake yesterday afternoon. Of course, yesterday afternoon into the early evening hours, we had a line of showers, even some thunderstorms rolling through. That's not going to be the case today. Mainly clear throughout the state, especially central and southern Utah, where right now in St. George, you're at 72 degrees. Wind direction out of the northwest. We had a weak front make its move here through about most of the state, stalling out for southern Utah. So behind that front, most cities and locations will be looking at temperatures cooler than yesterday and below average. Right now in Salt Lake City, we're still in the low 50s versus yesterday at this hour. We're in the 60s. We're noticing on the pollen count situation, trees increasing. As you're maybe suffering from some allergies, you definitely can be looking at some of the uh, pollens from the trees, looking like some uh, of the maples a little bit higher right now, where that's going to be the situation because conditions look to be fairly dry throughout most of the work week, even for St. George, leading up to the weekend where Sunday, oh, maybe a possibility over the higher terrain of seeing an isolated shower, but for St. George specifically, definitely in those valleys, we'll be looking at dry here moving through the weekend at the beginning of next week. Now for northern Utah, things are changing just a little bit. Uh, we're, we've got a couple of fronts that's going to be moving through. That'll allow temperatures to actually cool down even more than what we've been seeing here over the past couple of days. Bringing in some clouds, maybe just a mountain shower on Thursday leading into the weekend, but the valleys do get into the mix as we go from Sunday into the beginning of next week. We're going to be looking at next week a little bit all, more on the cooler side and a better chance of seeing some scattered showers in the forecast. And it looks like rain in the valley, snow in the mountains, but there is one model showing that we can see some colder air moving in that could drop next week. Snow levels down closer towards the benches. That's next week. Let's get you through this week. We're right now no issues whatsoever as we're looking at those high clouds kind of rolling through northern Utah. We'll call it partly cloudy here throughout the afternoon, getting pushed in ahead of this next front as this is going to be sweeping in here over the next 24 hours, which will further reduce temperatures or decrease, I should say, looking towards tomorrow. Let's talk about the timing of this front, what it will bring. Do we see a chance of rain? Well, looking at the clock here, moving through the afternoon, mainly clouds here. Uh, pushing through here in the overnight hours as this front does move in. It's really not going to have an impact here across northern Utah. Maybe a mountain sprinkle as it moves through central northeastern Utah. Uh, maybe a better chance of seeing some brief rain, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm moving through tomorrow into the afternoon hours across southeastern Utah. That's one area that we can see a little bit of active weather. Now, turning towards Thursday, some clouds here across extreme northern Utah. It's near the Utah-Idaho border that could see some brief rain heading into Thursday, but these Next couple of fronts, weak, mainly just dropping temperatures and bringing some clouds. So highs today looks to be cooler and below average. Low 60s here along the Wasatch Front, mid to upper 60s towards northeastern Utah. 70s through central Utah and 80s in St. George. Cooling trend, staying dry with some sunshine. Leading into the weekend, though, we're rebounding temperature-wise. Looks to be cooler next week. Again, not much of a threat of rain. Maybe just seeing a few isolated showers over the higher terrain. Now, for northern Utah, 60s cooler, though, Wednesday, Thursday, down to the 50s. Partly cloudy skies. There'll be periods with maybe a little bit more cloud cover, but looks like we'll be avoiding the rain up until Sunday. And again, next week, we see uh, definitely more of a stormy mix here, but for the rest of the week into the weekend, looks like we're good to go.